Yo, it's June 27th, Doom Wizard here, with your rapid fire news roundup. What's happening in the world? If you appreciate my no-nonsense, direct style reporting, please consider visiting the PayPal donation link below. Us creators really genuinely appreciate the support, even if it's two or three hundred meat sauce miracles. I appreciate you. Four alarming charts that show just how extreme climate is right now, published 10 days ago on CNN. Soaring temperatures, unusually hot oceans, record high levels of carbon pollution in the atmosphere, and record low levels of Antarctic ice. What does that look like? Here we go. This is totally bonkers, and people who look at the stuff routinely can't believe their eyes. Global air temperatures have risen to record levels in 2023. You can see that spike upwards, and that may not seem like a lot, but for global temperatures, considering this is in Celsius, every centigrade matters. Ocean heat also this two weeks ago off the charts. The trend, you know, you know where it's going. Antarctic sea ice drops to record low. Okay, just completely trashing the planet in every single way possible. The Keeling curve there showing us in Uninhabitable territory. How uninhabitable? Texas inmates being cooked alive in a heat wave with no air conditioning. Can you imagine that? Sentenced to just two years or less in most of the Texas state jails, but for these summers, it is savage. It feels like their brains are cooking from inside out. In fact, that's how I felt living in the prison that which is southern United States, particularly Texas, and I foresaw this coming because I was awake to data and evidence, and used critical thinking and thought, hmm, what does this place look like in a few years? Nope. Need to leave. In other pollution news, forever chemicals found in plet blood of pet dogs and horses. Forever chemicals are now everywhere. Literally everywhere. And horses are a good sentinel species, meaning they most closely resemble our transmission and even though the exposures were generally low, we saw differences in, con in concentration and composition for animals that live indoors versus outside. Yeah, it's everywhere. It's contaminated everything. In fact, we've contaminated it so much that we've tilted the Earth's, Earth's axis. I understand other channels have already covered this content, but I should just, this should just bear repeating that, uh, We've sucked so much liquid from the Earth that we've tilted the Earth's axis. All right, so by the time that we leave, the planet will be very different. Humans approaching survivability as sweltering heat waves in Gulf parts of Asia, also in Texas, but we can go back to that in a minute. Um, let's say in this place, 220 million suffering 116 degree Fahrenheit or 47 degrees Celsius. Already uninhabitable, guys. Already. So how does this look in 2026? We saw the exponential change from, let's say, 2019, 2020. And so how does this look in four to six years? Okay, are you that brain dead? Heat wave intensifying a south with more than 55 million people under heat alerts. Again, why I left Texas, because I saw this coming. In fact, the whole southern region from Arizona to Florida. Heat dome reaching 120 degrees. Heat index already in June. All right, I'm not gonna read all this. You know how I, you know how I do. Broken records all over the place. People dying in the streets. You know, it's okay. Go buy the new Subaru. Tiffany's diamonds wants your money. You know, go watch that new movie with with The Rock. Doom loops. We've heard about this. We're in it. You're in a doom loop. Ecosystem collapses much sooner than expected. So what they found was around the world, rainforests are becoming savanna or farmland. Savannah is drying out more and turning into desert, and icy tundra is thawing. Indeed, scientific studies have now recorded regime shifts like these in 20 different types of ecosystems where tipping points have been passed. Around the world, more than 20% of ecosystems are in danger or collapsing into something different. These collapses might often might happen sooner than you'd think. We're putting it under pressure, and these tipping points could be brought forward as much as 80% with combined climate-driven extreme weather. 
All right, so what does this look like? Catastrophic consequences, doom loops, how long until collapse? Um, this means an ecosystem predicted to collapse in the 2090s owing to the creeping rate single source of stress such as global temperatures could, in worst case scenario, collapse in the 20s, 30s. Uh, once we factor in issues like rainfall pollution or a sudden spike of natural resource use. Okay, there's no ecological bailouts, not like we did with, you know, the banks and airlines and everything else. What, essential workers? Nobody cares about those. All old news. We failed COVID, so we fail everything else. Study finds a human impact on wildlife, even in protected areas. I already skimmed through this. Essentially, what you need to know is by 2030, if the 30 by 30 initiative to support initiatives supported by more than 100 countries success, is successful, hint, it won't be, 30% of our land and ocean ecosystems will be designed protected areas meant to safeguard biodiversity and help limit impacts of climate change. But what they found, comprising over multiple years of data, a thousand cam over a thousand camera trap sites, is that species who were um, specialist species that which occupy specific habitats only thrive when habitat fragmentation is low and are generally more susceptible to the negative impact of human activities like hunting and land use, which are able to live in more diverse habitats. So, generalist species such as the tyra, a dog-sized omnivore in the weasel family that is home both under forest cover and in grasslands, only thrive near the edge of protected areas if human population density is low. So they have to you have to think about the situation holistically. Preserve as more preserved protected areas are created, we need to think carefully about the factors both within and outside the protected areas that influence biodiversity. For instance, if you build a new car dealership right next to a marshy wildland, maybe some of that pollution will try drive some of the more less mm, adaptable species inwards right and thus driving out it's all a concentration thing and you, you, maybe you'll see more ducks walking around the streets because i certainly have what about sf6 are we forgetting about this elephant in the room this giant elephant it's a synthetic fluorinated compound with extremely stable molecular structure because of its unique dielectric properties electric utilities rely heavily on sf6 and electric power systems for voltage electric insulation current interruption and arc quenching and transmission and distribution of electricity yet it is also more potent than greenhouse gas known to date carbon over a hundred year period sf6 is 23,500 times more effective at trapping infrared radiation than the equivalent amount of carbon dioxide it's a stable chemical, meaning it lasts about 3,200 years. So as it is emitted, accumulating in the atmosphere in an essentially undegraded state for many centuries, thus a relatively small SF6 can have a significant impact. So you're talking about rebuilding our electrical infrastructure and energy grid, and somehow we're not going to use this compound? No, in fact, we're losing much, much more of it. Here's the uh, combined global mean use of SF6 as monitored by NOAA, October 7th, 2022, last updated. All rising along with all the other greenhouse gases. So, no, the planet won't be fine. It won't be okay when we leave here. It'll be a desecrated hellscape where species are barely managing to hold on any that remain oh but there's been species left over since the last extinction like just a few that's why it's called a, a mass extinction event you dummy flipper hacking device on track to make 80 million dollars worth of sales changing gears i thought about buying one of these you know because i need to i need to get into the rv compound or the storage facility when when the power goes out and maybe they have a you know i don't know you can do a whole bunch of different things with it i'm sure all of you have heard about this stuff you can, you can manipulate wireless devices garage openers rfid card systems remote keyless systems key fobs entry to barriers and you can program it so you just walk up to a locker and you're in all right let's get into the meat and potatoes of today's meat sauce. what's happening in the world but before I do, why Chinese students are taking graduation photos looking more dead than alive. This is a very resemblant to my generation, where in which 
Um, you know, we usually take these photos of happy-go-lucky gradu graduates, but in fact in China, it's being more dead than alive because the amount of job competition that they are up against, not to mention youth unemployment at reaching 20.8% in May, tons of new job seekers. Look, all of them want the social media coordinator position. All of them want to program the UI interface for um, the new smartphone, and the government pushed this forward. So you finish your degree, the climate becomes completely broken, you only have a few years, what a ripoff. No thanks, I'd rather deliver pizza and talk with you fine doomers. Let's wrap up today's climate news with climate and economy. This is a trusted source, you know how I do. All monthly records are broken simultaneously. June surface air temperatures are highest on record. Global sea surface temperature will also be recorded high. Global sea ice record, this is not normal from Leon Simmons. I mean, look at this anomaly. We know where this is going. Collapse coming to a town near you. Sea ice levels are quite large departure in our satellite records for this time of year. Canada is officially marking worst wildfire season on record. It's in fact damaged, burned 18 million acres, almost 17, 19 million acres. It's their peak, their wildfire activity occurs from, from June to August, leaving more than half the peak season to come, okay? More insane. More area burned in Quebec in 25 days in the last 20 years. Okay, let that sink in. Montreal has worst air quality in any major city as wildfires rage. Um, tornadoes killed three. Uh, Texas could be as hot as the Sahara. In fact, um, it broke daily high temperature record for eighth straight day on June 25th. And I think in Florida, yeah, here we go. Florida sheriff asked criminals to postpone crimes folks due to extreme heat we're asking anyone thinking of conducting criminal activity to hold off it's straight to hot and humid criminal activity of this heat is next level henchman status and is also very dangerous for everyone involved yeah fine do it go go bonkers because we will soon um you know heat index matters more than temperature and heat waves because the humidity only increases the heat and drought and health problems um, more rains, problem, problems, extremely hot day in Spain, um, and Morocco, more torrential rains, more extreme heat, but it's too much, and there's nothing we can do, there's nothing we can do, I'm skimming through this here, plastic usage and, uh, extreme flooding, we're done, you're done, we're done. Um, 90, 920 million people could face conflict over world's rivers by 2050. So you got compounding heat, water scarcity, um, emitting more carbon, uh, greenhouse, sorry, greenhouse gas emissions like SF6. Okay. What are we going to do about that? How are we going to scrub that out? Dude, it would take trillions of dollars, a world war three type effort, every country dissembling, dismantling their nukes. It's over. We're done, folks. Tropical forests shrunk by 10% in 2022, and renewable energy was only accounted for like 1% or 2% increase in 2022 as well. It did not dent fossil fuel dominance in 2022. The global energy demand and renewables did nothing. Fossil fuels still accounted for 82% of the supply, says Statistical Review of Energy from Routers. Okay, you know where this is going. You know where this is going. This has been your June 27th, What's Happening in the World, Destroying the Planet in Every Way Possible. Thanks for subscribing, hit like, and I'll talk to you doomers soon. See ya.